Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you play a song by Bruno Mars called Gorillas. And we're going to start on a B minor chord. And there's a couple different ways you might want to kind of think about playing B minor. You can do the first finger across the entire second fret, second finger on the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. But if you're just starting out, or you just want to kind of avoid the bar chords, there are a couple other options you may want to think about. Where you can take first finger and go to the high E string on the second fret, second finger on the B string on the third fret, and third finger on the G on the fourth fret. And if you kind of strum the top three or the top four strings, that's another way you can play B minor. If you're a little bit more adventurous, you can take the third finger and go to the D string on the fourth fret, and take the pinky and go to the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum the top four strings with that, it's a little bit thicker B minor. Another option would be to play B minor 7 in root position. When we play B minor 7, first finger is going to go to the A string on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string, 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the high E string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B minor 7. It sounds kind of sad. Another option actually would, would be to use something called a power chord. Actually, we'll talk more about this actually with the hits later. But you can do kind of a B5 power chord. And the way you play B5, first finger goes to the A string on the 2nd fret, third finger goes to the D string on the 4th fret. And if you strum just the A and the D strings together, that sounds really, really powerful B5 power chord. You're playing the, the B and the F sharp, which are the B and the 5th of the chord. Um, and on that intro, actually, it almost sounds like you do kind of 8 downs on each of the B minors. You have kind of 1, 2, Another option actually is to use one of my favorite strum patterns, which is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the B minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up. Now what really sounds a little bit more like the recording is using something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now if you're tapping your foot to the beat, the down, down, up, up, down, up is kind of dividing that into two parts. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the, the B minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four. on the first beat. Then on the second beat you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together you got down, 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 up, up, down. into our verse part. Now on our verse we start on B minor, but then we go to a D major chord. And the way we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major we're going to go to a G major chord. And the way we play G major, first finger is going to play a G major, his first finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then at the end of our verses, actually, there's this really cool hit where you go to a B flat five. And actually, we're just going to kind of work this as kind of a power chord hit, where you do first finger on the A string, first fret. Third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of just strum just the A and the D strings together, that sounds something called a B flat five. And in the recording, it almost sounds like you do kind of a down up down on that and then kind of kill the string. So it's kind of this big hit on B flat. And then from there, we go to a C five and do the same thing. So we can take that shape and then slide it over. So first finger is on the A string on the third fret. Third finger is on the D string on, on the fifth fret. And if you strum just the A and the D string there, that kind of sounds a C five chord. So the very end of the verse, there's this cool little hit where you go to B flat with kind of down, up, down, and then we go to C5, down, up, down, kind of make those really powerful hits. So we tried that verse with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we have B minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, E flat, down, up, down, C, down, up, down.
Or if we try it with our 16th pattern, we have B minor with a down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, B flat, down, up, down, C flat. And then from our verse, then we're going to be going into our pre chorus part. And our pre chorus starts on an F sharp minor. F sharp minor, you do first finger across the entire second fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret, and the pinky on the D on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like F sharp minor, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the F sharp minor, and actually that, that's a problem with the bar for you, you may want to just try making kind of smaller versions of that chord, actually kind of making smaller bars. Um, and then from the F sharp minor, we're going to be going to B minor. And then from the B minor, we go to a E major chord, and we play E major. First finger goes to the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on, on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And actually, the easiest way to do that from where we are, actually, is just to lift the first finger from where we are. So we're kind of covering the A, a string, second fret, D string, second fret. That sounds E minor, it sounds very sad. And then from the E minor, we go to the G major chord, and it's kind of these four big hits. you got kind of G with it. You may want to work it kind of down and kill it, kind of, kind of do that part. And then we go to an A major chord, and we play A major. First finger is going to go to the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And in that part of our pre-chorus, it kind of sounds like we do kind of a big A with it down, and then we kind of come back and do two more hits kind of on the A major. So you may want to kind of work that as kind of a down, kill it, down, down, kill it. So if we try our down, down, up, up, down, up through our pre-chorus, you have the F sharp minor with a down, down, up. Up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E major, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G. A major. Or if we were trying our 16th pattern through it, we'd have a short minor with down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, E minor, down. our chorus part. On our chorus we start on D major and then we go to a C major chord. When we play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high string, that'll get your clear sound with that. That's called C major. And then from the C major we go back to a G major chord. And then we do kind of almost a half measure of a G major. And then we kind of go back to our B flat C hits, actually, that we were kind of doing from our verse, but now they're just down ups on each of those. So if we try it with our down, down, up, up, down, the weird part is what we do our whole strum pattern on one of the G's. And then we do with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have D with a down, down, down up. Sharp minor, you'd have the low E string for your bass. And then for the B 
minor, then we have the A string for the bass. And then on the E major and the E minor chord, we have the low E string for our bass. And then for the A major, if we're doing the basses for that, we have the A string for the bass. Never mind, I have to the bass bass. So if we took that next verse and kind of tried bass down, up, up, down, up through it, you'd have B minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up. tried that with our 16th with basses, which could be a cool thing too. You'd have B minor with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, B with an E bass, down, down, up, up, down, 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 bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, flat, C. Uh, and then from there we'd be going into our pre-chorus part. So we turn our bass down, up, up, down, through the pre-chorus, you'd have F sharp with minor with an E bass, down, up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, up, Major with Louis bass down, up down, my with Louis bass down, up, up down, G, A. Or if we try it with our 16th basses, then we have F sharp minor with Louis bass down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 bass. took our chorus and kind of tried it with our bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D with a bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, B flat, C, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up. Tried that chorus with our 16th basses, we'd have D with a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, G with a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, we got a bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, G with a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, G with a bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, there, then we go into our bridge part, and our bridge part starts on F sharp minor. And we do kind of two down ups actually, it's kind of this down, up, down up, and then we kind of kill the strings on our F sharp minor. And then from there, then we go to kind of a B minor and then an A major, but it feels more like an eighth note feel, so more kind of like, like the down, down, up, up, down, up, or bass, down, up, up, down, up, for the B minor and the A, but it's a lot faster than we'd be thinking about. And then you yeah, have F sharp minor, down, up, down, up, down, up kill, kill it and then B minor, and then A, and then we kind of go back to kind of the, almost the G hits from our pre-chorus with kind of a big A major at the very, very end of, of, our, of our bridge. So we tried that kind of kind of thinking of that B minor A. The weird part is you got it kind of like sharp minor with kind of the down, up, down, up killets. And then we get to the B minor A, it's almost kind of like down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, up, up, down, up. So it's almost like a faster down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our bridge. We'd have F sharp minor, and then B minor, and F sharp minor, and then our B minor, and G, A. Or if we tried that with our bass down, up, up, down, through that, we'd have F sharp minor, B minor, B minor with A bass, A with A bass, G major, and got a big A hit. And then from there, then we go back into kind of our, our chorus for our outro. And so we tried that with our 16th with our basses. We now do with the bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 bass.
that's the basics of how you can strum through gorillas by Bruno Mars. So good luck!